Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be doing my review and breakdown for Episode 16. This is titled Alex in Wonderland, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Also, the giveaway is still running for the Superman Red Sun Blu-rays. I've got two of them to give away. That is thanks to Warner Brothers UK. All the details will be in the description below. So, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into what happened this episode. So, right at the start, we have Alex sort of dealing with the struggle of losing her dad. So, her dad was revealed to be dead last episode. That was how they left the episode. It was the cliffhanger. Jeremiah is dead. We haven't seen Jeremiah in many seasons. I don't know exactly what season was the last time we saw him. But there is sort of personal reasons as to why he didn't show up again and why he didn't show up in this episode, why you only saw like, you know, behind him or anything like that, why he was only mentioned, there was no images of him. And so right at the start, Kara tries to comfort Alex as Alex is sort of way more distressed and this is due to a lot of baggage of what she feels like she carries, like in regards to what she could have done for her dad and stuff like that. And so additionally we have Kelly also there trying to talk to Alex and then once everyone leaves and Kara sort of storms out a little bit Kelly and Alex talk properly so after this talk and Kelly leaves and gives Alex some space Alex sort of loses it and she enters the VR world because she sees that Kelly has left one of her VR lenses there and so she goes into the VR world inside Obsidian's tech and she chooses a option and this option is to be Supergirl in this version of reality in this VR reality and so she lands in National City as Supergirl, but obviously it's Alex, not Kara. And so you get to see the debut of this amazing new suit that they designed for Alex specifically for this episode. Maybe we'll see it again sometime in the future, but it's an amazing suit. It's black and blue. It looks so cool and it just works so well sort of as a contrast to the normal Supergirl suit and it really comes into effect about like halfway when you see a different version of Supergirl like it's another person escaping reality but dressed up as Supergirl but it's the opposite it is the contrast of her and her feelings because obviously they both are there to get lost but Alex has sort of different feelings about everything that's going on right now so yeah she lands in National City she is Supergirl you see like a billboard up there in the sky and she's just really happy essentially with this sort of new reality where she can escape and everything is good for her. So additionally Kelly and William have their own storyline, they're working together to find out what is happening to do with people being stuck in the VR world and basically they find out some evidence but then they look up and they call these people, they call like 100 people, like everyone's fine but then by the end of the episode William finds due to a contact at the NSA, you know, there is a location where a bunch of these people who are stuck are actually all being housed. So he finds the Leviathan facility that we keep on seeing in the past few episodes, but it's invisible, but he still finds some evidence that there was definitely something here, or, you know, we know there still is, but he doesn't know that. So those two work together and they find out what's happening. They definitely suspect Lex because he's a member of the board now. Okay, so Supergirl Alex once again, we get to see her meet a sort of this non-NPC person and this person appears a couple of times in this episode. She was pretty decent. She definitely acted as a way for Alex to check, like, is this reality or not? And so she gets stuck and she's taken by Leviathan to that same facility. So they keep on doing that to the people whose lenses turn red and they get permanently stuck and they forget about normal reality essentially. It's kind of like Inception really, where you forget, you know, is this the dream or is this reality? And so Supergirl stops a dragon at this point when she meets that person. And so what she does is what Kara would do. She uses her heat vision, she fights it and she makes it fly away so she's successful in her battles and additionally she goes to this bar and then you get to see the non-NPC person back again but she's different and basically Alex at this point starts to question reality and what's going on and she's still aware of what's happening right now but then very very soon she forgets about all of this and at this point she gets a call in via her comms and realizes the DEO exists and it's still Jean as the head of the DEO, the director, and at this point, the DEO spots and finds out 
that Hank Henshaw is still around in this reality and Hank knows Alex's secret identity as Supergirl and is threatening to reveal it to the world and he's kidnapped Kara so we see Kara and she's kidnapped by Hank Henshaw who is alive in this version and everything is really over dramatic in this world so Jean, Henshaw and especially Brainy are all playing things up they're obviously doing it on purpose like the actors and I think it was kind of entertaining because you know this is fake they're not playing their real characters they're NPCs so they are going to be over dramatic and I thought they played into that really well and also Hank Henshaw tries to capture Supergo at one point and he uses her like to try and get this nuclear warhead and you know it fails but then he's like oh, I'm gonna you know kill you or whatever but then she escapes because she is that strong but anyway Alex is happy in this new reality and she sort of gets stuck and she forgets this is actually VR and at this point in the real world her eyes well her lenses turn red and everything seems normal to her but you know obviously we know as the audience because we're getting this sort of privileged information that she is stuck in the VR world we know something is very very wrong and so the other Supergirl appears she begins to question reality again because she's like how is this version of Supergirl here if I'm Supergirl why is there another version and also that Supergirl was wearing the old costume if you noticed like with the skirt so that was a nice callback and Additionally, at the same time, we have Kelly finding Alex, who is stuck in the VR world, and goes in to get her. We get the reappearance of Sai. Sai is mentioned again. You don't get to see her. That's probably due to the actor's availability. But she's back. That was cool. And Kelly tries to take Alex out of the VR world, but then she denies that this is not real. She thinks the VR world is real. She thinks she's Supergirl. And so she is basically assisted, or she's tried to be, like, stuck in this reality via the VR super friends who try to stop Alex from realizing that this is actually a VR world and she's not in reality and so they have an idea they send in young Alex it's an NPC version but controlled and so she helps out our version of Alex to get back to reality she takes her to see the truth of where like her father was at at one point and to see that if she could have saved him and he didn't die nothing would have changed this is all a result of his choices and it wasn't a result of Alex you know it wasn't her fault or it wasn't like her problem and basically what the lesson was basically you know it's not her burden to sort of grieve about this and blame herself essentially and so then she escapes from the VR world and Alex is back with Kelly in normal reality not the VR world and then she cries she gets really emotional and they all sort of come together with you know the fact that this has happened she felt hopeless she needed to escape and it's all really to do with her father's death and how it impacted her and how she reacted and I really have to say Kyla absolutely killed in this episode I thought she was amazing I couldn't get my eyes off of what she was doing like she was absolutely phenomenal in terms of her acting and what she was able to do like the emotional range really really strong so i was really happy in the end that we had this sort of alex centric episode we barely saw anyone else like i'm talking about kara because you know i don't know maybe there were some other reasons but this alex centric episode really worked and i thought it was a big boost for alex's character and so right at the end Alex believes and tells Kelly there's more to this VR problem than they perceived. Something is going on and she definitely suspects that someone is toying with VR and that there are people stuck in there that they don't realise because there was only two of them, two of them are definitely stuck but there was three including Alex and there's definitely going to be a lot more considering this new trend that's happening and then right at the end the final scene was very nice it was Jeremiah's funeral you have Kara and everyone there they all come together this sort of new version of Team Supergirl I thought it was a bit weird how Neil was there but I guess you know just friends supporting friends basically that was happening and so Alex and Kara make up and become one again and she apologizes Kara forgives for everything that happened and all is good and it was just a really nice way to send off the episode seeing the two sisters back together again with their extended family so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment remember to enter the giveaway 
all the details will be in the description below and as normal please be sure to just continue watching these videos over the next few weeks and stuff even though the shows are having problems with their filming and such like that but the shows will still continue so i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.